So we're going to mix the stone powder with water. And it's really important here that we wear gloves. Now, it's not that it's dangerous for your skin, but it will make your hands feel really rough if you mix this without the gloves on. And our kits come with these gloves. Also, you must never mix these two materials up. You don't want to cast your hands into the mixture of stone that I'm about to make. It sets hard like concrete and it really heats up as it's setting as well. So make sure you're using the alginate for the mould and you're using the stone powder to cast inside the mould. So, first of all, I've got my, me my water measured. Again, it's cold water today on a hot day. It's not as temperature sensitive as the alginate and I'm going to put, get, sprinkle in my stone powder on top. With my stone powder, I've got two bags. I'm going to let it sit on here for about 45 seconds to let it soak through a little bit. And I'll use the second bag. When I get my hands in there in a second, I'm going to mix quite quickly just to get rid of those lumps. And I've got a bit longer to do this. It's not as time sensitive as the alginate that you just saw us do. But it will start setting in under about five minutes, especially on a hot day. So I'm going to go in now. It feels quite nice. And with a circular motion, first of all, just to get water in, into contact with all of that powder. And I'm going to start working through these lumps. Now, if you're just joining us, we've already made our mould. But now we're mixing our stone to pour into it. And it needs to be nice and smooth for a good cast. at a time of this plaster. I'm trying to do it as neatly as possible, I don't want it all over the surface. So carefully into the bigger hole. That's a quarter of it. And then we're going to do this rolling action. This is to get it all into the fingertips. I want to make sure it coats those little tips. I'm going to roll this bucket around to make it reach all those nooks and crannies. I'm looking in there, I'm seeing it going into those little tips. You can see, we've got a, a coating at the bottom. One of the common, common problems people have is losing the fingertips and the nails on their castings. It's so disappointing when you've made a beautiful cast and there are bits missing because you haven't coated those fingertips. So this is really important. We're gonna do the second quarter of the plaster. Okay, right we're done rolling. This time I'm putting in the third amount of plaster. So not far to go now. And this time I'm not going to roll, I'm going to tap. And the reason I'm tapping is I want to get rid of any little bubbles. in your plaster and leave holes in your final cast. We want your cast to be as good as possible. These are our top, top tips. They come in our instructions, but there's nothing like seeing it for yourself. So, I can see I've got little bubbles coming to the surface. I don't know if you can see that. This is what we're trying to get rid of. Okay. And now I'm just going to top up. We want to get it to the top, nice and level. You want flat ends of your wrist so it stands up nice and neatly. 
There we go. Don't worry if you spill a little bit around the top of the alginate. It's not the end of the world. That will just come off once it's set. Now, I'm going to keep tapping now. I've got little bubbles coming out. I'm going to keep doing this until it thickens up. But not so much that it all comes sploshing out everywhere. If you don't tap, these bubbles that you see coming out to the top, they could actually rise to the surface of the plaster and form holes in the surface of your cast. Also, there's a possibility that the plaster and the water will separate if you don't do this, and then you get sort of streaks and channels on the surface of the plaster, and we don't want that either. So we're just gonna keep tapping this until it starts to thicken up, which it is starting to do now. Again, it, it sets a little bit more quickly on a hotter day. I think we'll leave it there. Okay, so it's nice and level on top. I've done all my tapping, I've done all my rolling, so we're all done. So it's gonna take about half an hour to set, and then we're gonna do a live reveal. Please come back in half an hour see how it comes out, what is in the bucket. We'll see you in 30 minutes.